Everyone loves an ISPO or initial state pool offering where you can delegate your ADA to various state pools and earn some Cardano native tokens. I have a big update for you for this month. Let's get right into it. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of the Learn Cardano podcast. This episode, I'm going through all of these ISPOs, initial state pool offerings that are going on at the moment. Some of them I have spoken about before, and I'll give you an update about those projects. But thank you everyone so much that jumped on my Twitter and responded to my request for all the ISPOs that are out at the moment. Some of them I knew about, but some are quite small and obscure and I didn't know about, and I'll be highlighting in this video. So let's get right into it. Now, you can get to all of this on our website, learncardano.io. I have all the show notes here for you. You can flick through it all and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All the links and references are all there for you. Now, the very first thing I'd like to talk about is checking your staked delegation. Wherever it is, if you're staking your ADA on a stake pool in the Cardano ecosystem, you need to make sure that that pool is still operating. Now this uh, really cool tool here at uh, Pool Peak, you can get to it from this website down here. Let me just open it up for you. But you can get to this and see exactly what pools are retiring. Not all state pools are constantly operating. The operator may have given up or may decide to retire their pool for whatever reason. And as a result, you have these various pools that have a lot of ADA to them, so these Maladex pools, which are closing up very, very soon, they have over 4 million ADA staked to them, 4.7 million, I should say, and uh, they have various pools, so uh, four there and three here, so uh, 7.8 million ADA, and they're retiring. So if you're delegated your ADA to any retired pool, you won't be earning any of those rewards. So check where you're delegated right now and make sure you move your ADA out accordingly if that pool is retiring. Check with the operator, check with a website such as this and you'll be able to see if that pool is retiring or not. Now the next thing I'd just like to highlight and remind people about is the Genius Yield Gens 4 pool. This pool shut down a long time ago that had issues with the pool, but there is still, according to this image I got here, there's still 1.6 million ADA delegated to it. Now it hadn't been minting blocks for, I think, I think almost five months now, but people are still delegating to it. So the message isn't getting out. They've been repeatedly trying to get people to move out of that pool, but it's just not working. Gens4 pool, if you're delegated to it, if you're watching this or you're listening to this, please check please move your ADA out to one of the other pools. The Genius Yield ISPO has actually ended as well. And uh, I'll talk about uh, uh, that in another video coming up, but you should be moving your tokens out of that. Um, all those pools that originally were for Gen Genius Yield have turned into Genius X pools as well. So if you're still delegating to one of the functioning pools, you'll be earning those Gen X tokens instead. So please check, please check wherever you're delegated, whatever you're doing. Now, before we get into the ISP update, I just want to do a big shout out for our sponsor for this video, Ada Waifus. They're doing their season two mint. It's coming up very, very soon. You can see some of the highlights from season one, season two here, I should say, and a couple of the highlights from season two, which are on sale on JPEG store, etc. And now they're doing their mint in approximately nine days. So it's coming up very, very soon. Check out the project. They're doing some awesome anime NFTs and also a manga series behind it. It's all about building up their community around NFTs and the NFT fandom, especially in the German speaking communities and other communities in Europe as well. So check out the project. Thank you so much Ada Waifus for sponsoring this episode. Now let's get back to the ISPO update. Now this one here, this this is pretty cool. Now one of the team members did reach out to me to talk about uh, the uh, Climate Neutral Cardano ISPO. Now this is a really cool project where they're trying to raise the funds to help reforestation of Madagascar. A lot of the uh, development there has deforested a lot of the island and they're slowly trying to get back 
into reforesting the uh, island itself. Now you can earn some of these CNC tokens, the climate neutral Cardano tokens, it's a little bit of a mouthful, uh, by delegating to any of these various state pools here in the ecosystem. There are quite a few uh, of them there. A lot of them are all aligned with that uh, eco-friendliness uh, and renewable uh, line of thinking in regards to the ecosystem there. So any of those pools are doing fantastic things for uh, the environment and Cardano. Now this is a split pool where you earn the CNC tokens and also ADA rewards as well. Each one of these pools would have a different fee level. So check them out. Check out the operator. I highly recommend uh, any of these ones. I have spoken to, I believe, all of them before. So I do know the operators uh, of these pools. Now the next one here is Goat Tribe. Goat Tribe is a Cardano NFT project. They're, they're, it's these uh, funky looking goats wearing weird uh, accessories, but they're doing their ISP and their token utility distribution. Anyone that's holding those NFTs would have been airdropped these grass tokens already, but you can now also delegate ADA to their Cardano stake pool and earn some of these tokens too. Now the actual ISPO start date is on the 29th of July so later this month at Epoch 354 and we'll go all the way to January next year. So you can earn some of these uh, tokens, be a part of their governance project. You can find out more about their project from their latest Medium post, learn more about the ISPO as well. Flack Finance is an awesome finance protocol that is building out Cardano. Now these guys have taken the full community approach. I have spoken about this project before and I do have an interview coming up as well. It hasn't completely been edited yet, almost there. I promise I'll get it out as soon as possible. But they have their ISPO running. They have an awesome little dashboard where you can check your rewards and everything from that, see what you've actually earned so far. And also the details about the two stake pools that you need to delegate to to actually earn these rewards. They have two because one of them is a full 100% pool where you will negate any of your ADA rewards and get the flat tokens in return. The other pool is a 50-50 split where you get half ADA rewards and half the flat tokens. So take your pick, see what works best for you and you can start delegating to them and earning those tokens. They have a little bonus though. They have these Milo Meerkat NFTs and these will give you an extra boost in regards to how much you could earn for delegating to their particular pools. So check that out, check out the details, all the links down there for you within the article. The next one here, this, this has been so popular and a lot of people reached out to me and said, Pete, you gotta give ScatDAO a look. Now these guys are forming an autonomous De decentralized autonomous organization, a DAO, around smart contract auditing. So their premise is that you can't entirely trust auditors when it comes to auditing protocols, companies, whatever it might be. Because those auditors, are, it's in their best interest to keep their clients on side and give them a favorable audit. Now, because of that, they wanna decentralize that and put that power of the audit within the community itself so that you can trust these audits. You can trust the protocols that are building out some cool things and using these smart contracts and ScatDAO is what is providing all of that. Now you can delegate to their state pool. The state pool is audit to earn some of these tokens and to be a part of their community, a part of their governance, etc., etc. So ScatDAO doing amazing things. It is worth looking at this project, checking out and see what they're doing. They have have also a really cool do your own research tool where they go in and break down projects, have a look at them and see uh, their team, their utility, their tokenomics, all those things and do some of that breakdown for you. So if you're researching some projects, check out their tools and see their reports that they've done on various ecosystem projects and apply that to your own research as well. It'll really help you out analyzing various projects and seeing if you wanna get into them. Now, Cardax is a decentralized exchange that is building on Cardano. They are running their ISPO now, which is quite interesting. They did um, a, a token sale and uh, uh, initial seed funding as well, but now they're running their ISPO. So they, they, I, I guess they might need a little bit more ADA to finish off their project. They recently had an audit and the audit, uh, I, I have to say, wasn't exactly favorable for them. They do have some issues that they do need to fix and uh, clean up. Um, so I'm 
assuming they maybe they need a little bit more money to uh, finish things up or they just want to get these tokens out to the community. I'm not entirely sure there, but ISPOs are a great way to distribute tokens to the Cardano community because it's an easy delegate to and you get your tokens back. So it's a really good way to build up that community. Now, they have an interesting aspect to it in that they have a set amount of tokens distributed every single epoch. This means that the amount of tokens will vary and the cost of those tokens will vary. So if there aren't too many delegates to a particular pool, uh, to their particular pool, I should say, then you'll get more of these CDX tokens, their native token. But if there are millions and millions of people delegating ADA to it, then that means you'll get less and it will cost more. So they have that varying price. So check out exactly how much uh, ADA is being delegated to the pool and that will determine how much uh, the price of the CDX token is when you're delegating and uh, earning those CDX tokens. So make sure you check that out. All the details are down there within their uh, documentation website. You can check that out and find out more links to it in the blog post. Now, Revutu, I've heard rumors on my Twitter feed that they might be doing an ISPO. I can't find any details around it. So you have to annoy Vex about this one. I did do an interview with Vex a little bit earlier this year to talk about their platform, their debit cards and uh, virtual cards that will control various subscriptions in your life. I do like those aspects because I am paying for things that I should be paying for using their virtual credit card system to control all those various subscriptions is very appealing to me. Now you have to, like I said here in the blog post, annoy Vex about that to get more details. There are just rumors at the moment, but I believe it is coming soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Now this one here is one of the smaller ISPOs that I found and uh, started looking into. So these guys are building a, a, a bit of a, a game platform where you can use any of your NFTs in the Cardano ecosystem to do some things with it. Now I'm not entirely sure how the gameplay or all those aspects will work, but it sounds like you can stake any NFT on their platform and earn some of these uh, particular tokens. At the moment they're doing their ISPO where you can earn some of the Nebula Dust tokens. You you can delegate to their pool, the Soul PI, and you can earn some tokens through that. You earn one Nebula Dust token per 10 ADA delegated. So it's one of those uh, nice little niche ISPOs. Check them out, see what they're up to, and see if it's of any interest to you. Now, Iagon are still running their ISPO. They're down through 25% of their token distribution at the moment. I have done an interview with the team. You can find out more top right hand corner there where you can learn more about Iagon and their file decentralization storage platform. Pretty cool platform all built on Cardano itself. Now they've released their ISPO dashboard which looks very slick, very nifty. You can see exactly how much ADA is being delegated to their particular pool. They only have two pools and you can see how much ADA has been delegated to this particular one here. Now their other pool which is a 50-50 split. It's an interesting split in that you will earn Gen X tokens and Igon tokens. And you find out more information about that in the interview I did or in the blog post down here where you can find the details about their state pools that you can delegate to as well. Now talking about fancy dashboards, this one here is the Genius X ISPO. Genius X is a project which I'm absolutely a huge fan of. They're an accelerator program within the Cardano ecosystem. So they're looking at projects within Cardano and helping them launch their project and take them to the next level, providing legal advice, uh, ISPO uh, facilities, and so much more. So they do a lot of really cool things for projects that don't have the capabilities to do those things. Now they launched their dashboard as well. So you can see how much uh, ADA or how much Gen X tokens you'll be earning for through the uh, ISPO, as well as how the ISPO is going, how much uh, ADA is being staked and how many tokens actually have been distributed so far. Now, not that's uh, rewarded, I should say, not distributed. And you can see they're 44% of the way through their um, uh, allocation of those tokens at the moment. You can find out more about that. I did do it in interview with the team as well. Check it out in the top right hand corner there. You can find out more about Gen X and their ISPO. Now the last one here I'll mention is Goki. I have an interview with this team coming up. Uh, now we actually built their dashboard for this ISPO and I'm pretty proud of the team's work. 
Now they're making it easier for people to own property. So property prices are skyrocketing all around the world and housing affordability is getting harder and harder. But if you can actually own a portion of a property and then leapfrog your way through that and own a full property for yourself, it is an option. So they're decentralizing the ownership of property. Now you can delegate to their particular state pool and earn some of their tokens and be a part of their governance system there. Now you can check it out at staking.gokey.network. You can see the dashboard that we built there. Now we built this all on our plugin called Cardano Press. Now if you are a project that is looking at building out your own dashboard or need something like that, you can check that out at cardanopress.io. Now that's all I have for you guys for this ISPO update. Hopefully you found it interesting. Give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and you hear more from me real soon. See you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.